Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. We're going to do a demonstration of how to use the First Alert Drinking Water Home Test Kit. We carry this at our hardware store. It's a pretty good selling item, especially now, so we'd like to give you a quick idea how easy this program is to use. For phase two of our operation here, we took some lead wool and put it in some water and when we did the test you can see that our lead is a little higher. So we're actually getting a reading off some lead wool, something that we sell in the hardware store for doing sewer lines. The kit, it gives you lead bacteria test vial, lead pesticide test, nitrous test strips, and hardness chlorine test strips. Instructions are very simple. They tell you to take and fill a vial, this is the bacteria vial, swirl this around and mix it real well and you put it in an area where it will be at 70 to 85 degrees. You want this to stay warm. This should come to approximately about a purple color. If this stays purple, all is good. If this turns yellow, bad news. It means we have some bacteria in the water. Bacteria in the water can be dealt with numerous ways, whether it is with uh, chlorine or filters or other stuff, usually caused from shallow wells. Here we're testing city water, which is coming from the city of Detroit. 48 hours from now, we're going to let this baby set in a warm area. Very pale purple. Our second and third test of this program is our pesticide and lead test kit. I suggest you start this with washed, sterilized hands, as clean as you can get them. They're lead and pesticide test strips. These have arrows on them. The arrows are going to go down into the water. We're going to use a pipette just to put two doses of water into our vial. The strips are going to go into this water for 10 minutes. So now we are waiting our 10 minutes. We're going to do our nitrate, nitrite test. This is our fertilizer test. This is going to be more for people that have wells and are near farmland or have groundwater. Take the test strip, put it in the water for two seconds. We pull it out. We wait one minute. So as we check our test strip, we're showing our test is somewhere around 0.5 and 2.0 parts per million and down here at really zero. Looks pretty safe so far, so we're following the norm here. All right, our last test is our pH hardness and chlorine level. So we're going to do, we're going to dip this in the water and we're going to immediately check it. So our pH was within our limits. Our hardness, which isn't life or death for most of us, is around 120. We should be 50 parts per million. So we have pretty hard water here for having city water, and our chlorine is low. Our lead and pesticide strips have come out. Our 10 minutes are up. You see the dark line and the light line. Now, if they're both light, it would be bad, but the good thing for us here is, is the dark line on the lead is closer to the one, and the pesticide, the dark line, is closer to the one. For phase two of our operation, we took some lead wool and put it in some water. And when we did the test, you can see that our lead is a little higher. So we're actually getting a reading off some lead wool, something that we sell in the hardware store for doing sewer lines. For the little bit of contact our water had in it, that this test is pretty accurate. So when you're testing for lead, um, this test kit, we're pretty happy with our results. Uh, we're not happy with the hardness of the water coming out of the city of Detroit. But other than that, all is good. And here's how you perform this test to you from Mr. Hardware.